All right. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm always ready. Yeah. Every time. Okay. Hello. Welcome to episode number 45. Oh, we just start. Okay. <laughs> Podcast. It's been a while. Uh, it's probably not the end of the episode. Maybe it will be. I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's just cut to the chase. You're pregnant. <laughs> Whoa. All right, Troy, say something. Remember when we were supposed to have a podcast? <laughs> podcast? 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 All right, episode number 45, Lemon Tea Podcast. I don't know what it's called yet because we haven't titled it. We don't title it until afterwards usually, right? Nope. Yep. Great. Yep. New setting. Uh, who knows if this is permanent or not? I have no idea. It changes all the time because it my really house does. is fucking broken. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's broken. Well, it's, the main situation right now. You don't is, have to say it. You don't say it. Okay. It's fine. They don't need to know. Okay. Is that you don't need to know. Don't worry about no. it. We just hope you enjoy. If you want to. If you want to. Subscribe to a Patreon that doesn't exist for us and support us with money. I will tell you what it is. Gosh, imagine if we had a Patreon. Yeah, imagine. You can do it now. You can make a Patreon at any time. I, I don't even know. We wouldn't be able to offer anything. Yeah, there's no incentives. There's no I'm perks. Sorry. So I'm sorry. There's no uh, perks. The world's worst Patreon. Why are we here? Why are we here? Um, we're here. Uh, because we're here. Because we're queer. Get over it. Um, because, <laughs> because it's been two months. It's been two months since our last episode. Back in mid December, with the Christmas tree, right? With the Christmas tree, which I I'll be, I'll be honest, I thought was going to stay up longer. I really did. I, so did I, as, yes, so did we. I'm I'm shocked that um your wife took it down. She did. In, she no, wasn't the one who took even, it down. Oh, we were on vacation. Oh, uh, happened. Oh, okay. That okay. she took down the other. We had two trees. Okay, we had a tree here and we had a tree. Because you in the have other. such a big swanky house now that it's you not need that big, two trees. But it's bigger than what we had. Yeah, one to display in your big window and the other one to put right by your new spanking new fireplace. Well, new as in you can. It's not broken glass there anymore, which is nice. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice that having broken glass. Uh, it's the little accessible things. to children. The little things. The little things. And right? the little people. The little people. Wow. And little shards of glass. But anyway, yeah, I, I was surprised with the tree didn't stay up longer because I did actually like that as a as a festive setting. But uh, mm. well, yeah. we got to use it once. A so festive that was setting. Yeah, very festive. Yeah. yeah, but I was right. About what? That we would see it one time in the recording. Okay. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? No, you were. Thank you. That it's just not for it's just not the reason I. Did you do you did you think that because. <laughs> Boop. Uh, did you think that because you thought the tree would be taken down before we recorded the next one, or what made you think we'd only use it once? I was razzing you. I was I was giving you shit oh. because you were like, "Oh, we should do one one uh, recording," and then we did. It's we been did so long. I don't even remember what I said last recording. Everything's so. You didn't say anything bad. Okay, good. I Everything try not was to. Pretty good. Well, um, thanks for razzing me. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. I think par for the course. If I don't, who will? No, you have plenty of people to you. Yeah. I think. You don't need another person to do it. So I now vow to never do that again. Thank you. Is this your 2024 New Year's resolution? Because um, it's 2024 I do have now. a couple of resolutions okay. that, that I did make. But um, I won't add this to the list because I already have a list. And I feel like adding shit to the list is just a recipe for disaster. Right. Yeah. You right? don't want to tack stuff on to the mm. list. List is already... It's not like super it, lengthy, but and it's pretty. I mean, it's pretty. You told I, you told me about it before, and I now, like I said, I can't remember what we even talked about in the last episode. But it's your um, list is pretty. I would say realistic in that it's <laughs> realistic in that it's broad and it's like because some people are really hyper specific. Like I'm gonna read this many books or I'm gonna lose this many pounds or whatever. I can't even find it. <laughs> that's not good. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Do you remember what they were? No, because they were on the list. So okay. I wouldn't have to remember. No, here it is. Okay. I want to read more. I want to get into shape physically because I'm out of shape. I want to work on music and um, I wanted to ins- expand the podcast to yeah. a uh, bigger audience. But So you know, I think those are good see. goals that don't have specificities because I think as soon as you hold yourself to like that sort of standard and if you do it, but you get close and you don't make your whatever arbitrary number goal. I don't think it's ever goal, good to like publicly state a goal well, i think that's a recipe for disaster i think 
but the way you did it because now you did it publicly i know but the way you did it i still feel like yeah. is is that sucks i might cut this out who knows okay well i wouldn't because i think it's like i don't know i still think it's a good way to have a resolution in it being just things you wish to achieve without it being like a hyper specific end goal a hyper like as long as you are reading more than what you did last year or get working out more than you did last year then you've already achieved your goal that's how i look at it i was working out a lot last year because we actually were going to the gym at some point mm-hmm. um and then i uh lost my job and i wasn't able to go to the gym yeah I couldn't afford it and now look at me now shit you know what i'm chilling in a kotatsu yeah no, i'm chilling in a kotatsu in cedar rapids um <laughs> i'm starting to stop watch now i think we were only like a couple minutes a couple minutes so yeah. whatever this says plus whatever we were at yeah How's perfect that? um Wait. we're professionals Oops. back doing this professionally uh, we've um, never done anything professional here semi-professional ever. like amateurs all i want to do is get a setup yeah and i think that's possible to do i'm just lazy and i didn't do it i didn't do my homework it we're we're in a state of flux there's a lot that's happened in the last couple months um so <laughs> you wanted to expand on that i'm already expanding ha 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 uh <laughs> so uh what to expect when you're expanding yeah <laughs> <laughs> see that's what it should have been called mm-hmm. so uh i'm pregnant which is, isn't that great it's so weird to, i've told people now all this by this point uh, but it's still so weird to, I don't know. The whole thing's weird. So like. What's weird about it? Just the whole, I don't know. I've, I've talked about my worries about being pregnant before I even okay. was pregnant, which was just like kind of losing myself in a physical sense to this it goes new back. creature. Mostly. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know. It's just, and it's all, I mean, you, you, want, you always know it's like a big. I don't know because I've well, never been as, pregnant. Well, as but. far as pe- like being a parent, like it's a big, big change and stuff. So, uh, so anyway, I'm due in <clears> July. <throat> so, uh, I hope to keep doing this podcast for as long as possible. I'm calling then. it right now. Okay. Oh, okay. Right now. Okay. Go. Last episode. This? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think so. Done. No, no, I don't think so. Washed. No. Hands. <laughs> No, I like, no, I love doing this show. I don't want to, I want to maintain as much of my normal pre-parent life that I can. I will tell you it's going to be harder. Yes. In the beginning. Mm -hmm. You're going to get less sleep. Obviously, everyone tells you this shit, right? Everyone always says the same shit like, oh, "Oh, you better be ready for this or that. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what you're going to expect. But I can tell you that you're probably, probably one of the big things is that you're going to, you're going to experience less sleep. You're going to be tired yes. more. Oh, that's already... Well, that's already been happening. So yeah. I'm, I'm well prepared. Kind but of. But I mean like worse than this. Like, yeah, I know. You, you're tired and you're one person, right? You have to take care of just yourself right now. Yeah. I know you're doing things for the baby and stuff yeah. like that. But you're going to be tired in a way that it's like... It's like I have to be awake for this thing. For this... For the, yeah. Person. Yeah. Or else this person does not survive which is like a very lofty thing to think about um i'm not trying to scare you oh no it's fine i go into in and out a moment it's i mean it's it's too late now and we do <sighs> it's not too late it's never too late wait. three days three grace. oh i listened to that song today it's a good song yeah i love that song this and this was like it was a planned thing uh i get i think it also was just like i didn't expect it to happen so soon from when we decided because i wanted to like covid right what's that COVID was planned. It was a pandemic. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Hey. Or I don't even know what I'm saying. It's true, right? No, it's not. Um, I can't even. It's hard to keep a straight face when I say things like that sometimes because it's so ridiculous to say that. Yes, it is. It's very ridiculous to say it, but it's also very funny to say it. It is. It is very funny. I think it's. If people don't know your humor by this point in listening or, or watching, um, I think it's funny to just <coughs> like. I, obviously, if you're not like really spreading misinformation, I think it's okay to say things like that. Yeah, uh, we're just making fun of people mm, who believe it. Who believe that the pandemic is a real thing? Yeah, right. That's what you mean. Yeah, that the earth is flat and that the frogs are gay or whatever. So. The frogs are gay. Okay. 
Okay, well, <laughs> that one is debatable. So is Kermit kind of gay a little bit? You know, what do you think? No, Kermit's pretty straight, right? Like he's very straight. Yeah. So like my, I don't know the way I would kind of compare it because he's with Miss Piggy would be like kind of like a Phil and Lil's parents from Rugrats. You think he's like a Howard? Yeah. Like Howard? Yeah. He's like a meek. Howard, the character that was yeah. so horrible that they wrote him out of the fucking reboot, right? Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh. That, you know that new version of Rugrats <laughs> that came out? That's like, it's like uh, 3D animated. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They wrote, he doesn't exist. There's no Howard. So they were like, rather than have him be like kind of a more meek version of like what we show as dads on TV, we're just going to make um, Phil and Lil's mom a single mom. They did that. That's so weird. And she's a she's a lesbian. I'm pretty sure. Like Oh, okay. Well that one wasn't as much of a stretch. No, it's but, not a stretch. But I mean like so in the nineties there was a dynamic. It was like, yeah. okay, Howard is the you know, he's kinda meager, but he was kinda like the stay at home dad kind of type. But yeah, and also kind Ooh. of Angelica's parents were too. Kind of. I think maybe her All dad right. had an actual job. The the But Drew Drew did something. I think he was like an accountant or some shit, yeah. right? And and then there's Charlotte. Of course, she was a girl boss before girl bosses were girl bosses, right? With them shoulder pads. She had them shoulder pad. She had the padded suit. Mm-hmm. Uh, she had like the Hillary Clinton looking suit. She was yeah. moving and grooving, and she was making shit happen. She had a, she had an assistant, Jonathan. Oh gosh, Jonathan. She had she was always on the phone with somebody, and she's like, Jonathan, I need you to do this. I yeah. need you to do that. Make it happen, Jonathan. And then he would do it, or he wouldn't do it, and she would yell at him. Yeah. It was kind of an abusive relationship, right? A little bit. There was even an episode, or maybe it was the movie, where Jonathan was like, I've had enough with this shit. I'm going to strike back. And I, I don't remember what happened, but... Oh, I hope it I hope it was called The Rugrats, Jonathan Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, underrated character. Hi, what are you doing? Why are you eating carpet? <laughs> <laughs> what is your problem? It's our favorite special uh, live studio audience guest, tiny the cat she found food somewhere she's really good at that um anyway so yes uh kermit is straight and so anyway i'm pregnant and (laughs) um so this is what it's like when i'm completely clear and this is crazy it's we're going on more of a tangent now than we ever yeah did you did you know that this is like lewis's first one of his or one of his first ever clear-minded yeah podcast pretty recordings. good i think that was a good a good run a good <laughs> a good 44 episode streak i wanted to uh one to do it mm-hmm. to see how it is uh it's awful i'm sorry uh, <laughs> but it's okay. okay i'm doing this for m- mostly for the memes but also the memes. you know if you got to be out of it and into it and i got to be out of it and into it i got to be there to support you for the record you don't have to be i have to be there I don't... to support you okay just like howard supported uh what was her name betty oh okay <laughs> and they I was wrote sure him out of the name. show so when i <laughs> well i don't want you to be written out of anything so i'm done i'm my, done it's my Jeez. last episode Dang, all right. I'll just come to your house and record by myself. Yeah, you can if you want. Sure, you can borrow it. Yeah, that's but, uh, Nice. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Uh, your husband. I'm happy for your household. I'm happy for your family. Yes, thank you. You're um, welcome. Many members of both sides of our families were very excited because they have been wanting us to have a baby for years. It's weird to have people invested in your... I think that's so strange, too. Like, I don't... Like, I get it's an old school thing with families. Like, they yeah. just want you to have kids. Like Or, like, you know, my mom really loves having the kids around. Like, she loves yeah. it. She just, I don't know, she's just a mom, right? Mm-hmm. Now she's a grandma. But yeah. um, they just like that kind of shit. They just want that. They want them running around. And, yeah. like, I want you to have kids and all that kind of shit. And now you are. But I think it's so strange to be, like, Every second of the day, or like not every second, but every family gathering. Yeah. I mean, like, so? Yeah. What's going on? I can only imagine how they did it, but. Uh, I mean, yeah. And and it all comes from a good place, too. I understand, but. What yeah. place is that? I don't know. Wanting, wanting, <laughs> wanting us Be, to be happy. Being an incessant nag? I, well, no, 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 no. <laughs> It wasn't like incessant, incessant. It does also help, though, that my mom, like, one way or the other was like. Hates kids okay well yes so she i and i got that from her i don't like kids Mm -hmm. as a general 
I know. species. Yes. Yeah. You're not a species, I a know. human. I know. Um, but she she was okay one way or the other if we did or didn't have kids. And so not having that pressure from her was also very good. And also, like, if I had given into the pressure at any time, I wouldn't have. I know that everybody, everybody's like, you're never actually truly ready to have kids. But, like, I feel better now, like, having a I house think people who and- say that had kids when they were like 19 years old back when you could afford a house yeah. for <laughs> and and yeah a bunch of other stuff but like there's there's times when you're more ready than others like i think in your 30s you're probably more more ready to have kids at that point i know people i think for this up. generation yeah yeah um so. kudos if you want and can do it before your 30s uh for me myself it was just wanting to have a career and finish school and have a place that wasn't a one bedroom apartment for myself personally yeah uh and just some sort of stability in my life okay sort like and that's and that's as much pre-planning as i can really do really like and so i wanted to finish school first and so you did and i did so here we are um and it's all i don't know I'm, i'm learning more about like baby culture what the fuck is baby culture what does that mean what do you mean so what i'm going to say is not to diss or bash any parents ways of doing things but things like um primarily like gender reveals okay people like were really expecting i think there's an expectation now that we we were gonna do a gender who was expecting this just people in general they were like are you gonna have a gender reveal thing mm. and that was never something that josh or i wanted to do ever <laughs> ever yeah people we um i had to do we we opted for some blood testing and i found out that you can find out the gender before the ultrasound by blood testing so we knew the gender pretty early on so if anybody wanted to know we just told them mm-hmm. like otherwise like we were just gonna make it officially known on like baby shower invitations like come help celebrate our spoilers our daughter uh so <laughs> Are you having a baby shower? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My mom and my aunts, my aunts who are like over the moon about the, the having a baby around. Yeah. Cause, uh, I'm the young, one of the youngest like cousins or whatever children on mm. both sides of my family. So there hasn't been mm. a little one for like my cousins have kids, but, um, they live kind of far away and stuff. Yeah. Too, they're not so. always around. Yeah. So, uh, so they're, I think they're excited just for that too. So, uh, I, and I, I asked my mom kind of in a roundabout way or she was like, do you have somebody who's planning the baby shower? And I said, no, I kind of presumptuously, presumptuously thought you were going to do it. And she mm-hmm. said, OK, good. Yeah, I want to. I said, all right, great. So. So, yeah, I'm still do that in cahoots with my my aunts and stuff. And that's awesome. You know, yeah. And it'll be all nice and everything. And like we already had um, names and stuff, um, which I won't say on here um mm. but so and if people ask too like so i think mm-hmm. it's kind of surprising to some people that i've been so forthcoming with information why just because everything's expected to be like this buildup of surprise like uh, like i said with like a some people have like i think name pregnancy reveal is fucking parties. hard enough as it is like you don't need to add more fucking secrets and shit to it no and like i said that's not to bash anybody who does mm. like like you guys did a very i think that was very my, tame, that was not my well, they were your kids, so I'm wrapping you into it. Don't wrap me up. <laughs> Don't wrap me into this. But uh, you guys did just like a bake a cupcake. Well, two cupcakes in you guys' case and the color frosting. Mm-hmm. And yeah, no, it didn't explode. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It didn't explode. It yeah. didn't burn anything down. Nobody died. Um, it was kind of rather lame. It was kind of boring, but yeah. you know what? Like, y- you guys wanted to do it your way, and I respect that. Mm. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just... the the big thing that should be the end result which is the baby to me Mm -hmm. and the big celebration should be the traditional baby shower like i don't want to gather people for a gender reveal and a name reveal or whatever so because some people do name reveals too which i think is really like name reveal i never heard of that yeah so it's like i believe it i just yeah i think that's strange i think just the way you're doing it is probably the best way to do it i think you have the kid and you say this is the name and you prepare for it and you yeah. have the baby shower and you're ready to go plus it makes it easier for people to buy for <laughs> for the baby shower if, yeah i guess huh and i'm also one of those people because uh we have we have 
friends who didn't want to know the gender of their baby until he was born. Um, mm. Okay. Do you know who I'm talking about? I think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's fine. People do that too. I'm so I can't wait that long. Yeah, no, I'm I, so impatient. So like, I wouldn't be able to do it either. Kudos to them. I was like, as soon as they the hospital just knows, it's like, I yeah, please just tell me. Just tell me what it is. Yeah. And the ultrasound techs are so cheeky too. They they have seen it so many times. They know, they know like mm-hmm. exactly. Well, our next you ultrasound know? won't be until I'm. T- you can find out as I guess as early as 16 weeks. My next ultrasound's at 20 weeks, and the last ultrasound I had before that was when I was. 13 weeks okay so it might have been too early but the blood test and i asked them when they called on the phone and told me i was like like what's the percent those, chance yes i was like are these accurate because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> i don't want to be building up yeah. and telling everybody but right they said they're accurate so no i believe them i We're in too deep now it's a girl it's gotta be <laughs> push imposing Come my on. gender expectations on this child wow, already before yeah. they're even born that's that's so toxic of you i don't <laughs> understand why you're doing that so uh but yeah and uh so we're having we're having a girl and I keep telling people too I'm like I'm only doing this once. I don't want to be like I never wanted to be pregnant more than once ever. It, I never even really wanted to be pregnant before like even in my 20s it was never something that appealed to me and I just What being, you know, being, bloated and uh, uncomfortable doesn't appeal to you? No. Surpri- being like surprisingly no. Constantly filled with fucking heartburn and and uh, I know I get heartburn now. I never got heartburn in my life and now I have it every day. I just feel like this burning in my throat. I'm like, oh, "Well, it's the baby saying hello." You just blame everything on the baby now. It's fine. Right? It was, well, At least for the, the next, next couple f- months, you know, you you're good. The next five months, so yeah so no i never wanted to although and actually um ashley told me about this too Mm. where there's some like you swear you hate it and stuff like that like and then you give birth and there's this like rush of some endorphins that makes you want to just do the process all over again and i don't (laughs) i don't care my hormones are going to be all screwed up anyway i don't believe anything that i'm going to be feeling in that moment i don't want to do this again (laughs) so this is it um Josh and I have talked about adopting at some point, but that's expensive and also take it one step at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, we were hanging in a rush too. We were hanging out with his relatives, and they were like, "How many kids do you want?" And he literally was he was like five, and I was like, "I'm like, okay, okay, where are you getting them from?" Let me tell you something (laughs) right now. That's a freak answer, okay? Mm -hmm. That is like a 1930s answer, okay? That is like a fucking like my grandmother had five kids, Mm -hmm. and she was from the 30s, okay? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. I think he considers that like a small family because no. I no. when we first met, I was like, yeah, you know, I come, I come from a big family. My dad's one of four, my mom's one of five, and he was like, well, my mom's one of six, and my dad's one of eight. And I said, oh, okay. It's because people had nothing to do better than mind. fuck back then. They had nothing better to do. <laughs> they they had TV barely. It wasn't any. They had no YouTube. They had no social they media. Had no YouTube. Okay. They didn't have shit to occupy the time. Reality TV didn't exist. Okay, it was called the news. That was so, the reality TV. That was the reality TV. Um, but but yeah, no. So like, I don't. I want to like have a dog for our child, so they have somebody to play with. Because this adoption oh, thing. This is my dog. He's like my other kid. You know what? You if you put as much that much care and time into your pet, then he's my baby. Yeah, whatever. That's I'll, fine. I have no problem with with. Yeah. But dog, uh, moms and dads. No, I don't think I want a dog. No, and the only reason is because they're too much fucking work, and they, I already have I two kids, and yeah. I'm tired. But so if you wait till they're a little bit older, they can also take care of the dog. Okay, but listen, that's what happened to me. I, oh I, yeah, I I had this thing going with my grandma. I'm like, listen, if I do good in school, I'm getting a dog, and she's mm-hmm. like, you know what, you can have a dog. Oh. You gotta take care of the dog. Uh huh. And you know what, I did good in school. All right, and then. Middle school started, and I was about to get my dog, mm-hmm. and I got my dog, and guess who took him for a walk? I did for like a week, <laughs> all right? And I didn't really care for the dog like I should have been caring uh, for because I was fucking 10, 11 years old. Yeah. But your daughter's like, I don't know, she's very like animal-oriented or just like caring about living creatures-oriented. Yeah, she also is a child. I kn- No, I know, I know. She's also a child who thinks she I wants know. something and always doesn't. <laughs> she's Not indecisive always. at six? What? No way. I can't believe it. It's shocking. Um, I'm indecisive at at 34, so. 
so it's, yeah, it's a, it's it's a lifelong inherited, inherited trait. trait. Nice. Uh, yeah. So, so but, but we want to get a dog anyway. To, anyway, also because Josh will also take care of. He's been wanting a dog for I don't even know how long anyway. So, along with these five kids that I don't know he, where he's getting. Ain't no fucking kids. way. I no. Listen. At most in our future, I see two, which the second one will it's may a dog. or well okay two and two and a half uh-huh. the second human one may or may not be something that actually comes to fruition but it ain't gonna be five that is so. insane to me in this economy no way in this economy and also um because just he, in general he, he grew up a lot around a lot of people and cousins and stuff like that i understand because I, I did too get pets man this, like <laughs> i don't know I, I don't know how to tell you this two kids it's fine. Yeah. I think once we have our daughter, maybe that can put things in better perspective of how much, you know, time and effort and everything. It goes into just raising one. Sure. So, although I hear about, like, these feel-good stories about, like, these older, like, 50s, 60s couples who adopt kids. But it's, like, when they're close to retirement age and they have the time to like do it so or something and they just keep adopting kids or whatever it's like that's really cool that's cool i can't you know do, what I do in my 60s i want to go travel the world and do shit. right like i, I don't want to have no babies i want you guys to be gone <laughs> these Goodbye. motherfuckers in this house they're gonna be gone <laughs> by the time i hit my 50s they're out like they're they're gone and if they're here they're yeah. here that's fine i don't mind them living at home I oh yeah mean, like my responsibility my duty ends my my watch stops yeah i i'm that's yeah it's tough because it's tougher out for it was tough for me as a young person and you as a young person trying to find like housing for example uh living at home was a pretty nice way to go Mm -hmm. for me um after i came home from college and i was only able to afford to leave when uh josh who was my boyfriend at the time uh and i could afford a studio apartment Mm -hmm. and that's really the only way you can like yeah strike out is with you have some a roommate and not for a house it's an yeah, apartment i agree so uh so yeah i would never want to within reason i hear about stories about like some kids in their 40s who are like still living at home i don't think that's a problem as long as they're contributing contributing and it's a it's like a, a consensual yeah 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 you know agreement between the two like yeah you're okay to live here i pay rent i contribute yeah that's yeah. fine. I don't have a problem with that. There's there's a difference between like me coming off of college at <clears> 22, <throat> getting back on not back on my feet, but like securing a job for myself or whatever, not being mm-hmm. able to contribute, and somebody who's in their 40s being like just not trying. <laughs> yeah, just kind of <laughs> being because they're thinking is mom and dad will take care of me, and so not happening, baby. Gotta find that fine line between um, you know, wanting to help your kid and also teaching them self sufficiency. So correct. But uh, that's a long ways down the road for both you and I, so. You know what? It's closer for me than it is for you. But it's still, your kids are six, so you got, at like, 15-ish years-ish. Uh, and I don't even have a problem with them. They're they're great kids. And yeah. I have no problem with them being here. That's like the old meme of, like, ah, when you're, like, 20 years old, you got to get out of the house. You mm-hmm. got to start getting out on your own. And, like, granted, I left home at 20 years old. Yeah. And I got out of the house, and I moved. But I wasn't ready. No. Like, I was ready, but I didn't have money. I didn't have so money So, you were mentally all. ready, but not... Not, not Like, real world ready. ready. Yeah. yeah. So, it's all a big learning curve that I will be learning now for the rest of my life. You will be. As a five p- little children just tugging at those... How about... That apron. We get... We have one child <clears throat> and this dog. We already have our cat. <clears throat> and our other two children can be, like, two egg-laying hens. You know what? I think that if Josh wants more kids, he he should carry them. Okay? Yeah. He'll carry them himself. Yeah. I don't know how. Science will find a way. <laughs> We're getting close. And, and you know, mm-hmm. he can be the pregnant one. Like a seahorse. It's, a, it's such a weird thing that seahorse... I think seahorses are the only male living creatures that give birth. <laughs> It's like one of those facts you learn when you're a kid and yeah. you, you, like, tell everybody. You're like, guess what? Seahorse, yeah. uh, dads have the babies. And then you just say it to everybody. Yeah, everybody already everybody. knows it. Yeah. Elephants use their trunk as another uh, another arm. Giraffes have purple wow, tongues. Wow, really? Cool. 
It's like yeah. my daughter when she tells me stuff about like animals, which are really interesting. She knows a lot of sh- shit about animals. Yeah. But she'd be like, did you know this, dad? I'm like. Yeah. Do you? Oh, do you say yes or do you pretend? If I know it, I know it. If mm-hmm. I don't, I don't. That's very honest of you. I try to be as honest as I can with the kids. Yeah. I don't want them to. You know, some stuff you got to keep like mm-hmm. fun, I guess. Yeah. So. So. I'll learn about that. So anyway, that's why I've been. Thank you. I've been spending my. uh, It was funny too because the last recording we did was when I had known for three weeks ish. Yeah. And I'm sitting there. The the first trimester is tough, man, because I like not being able to tell. And it was around the holidays. Like that literally would have been like the perfect time to tell people. I know. When they're all gathered around, and but it was too early. I clocked you, by the way. You did. Mm. What do you mean? Easy. What do you mean? I. I had an inkling. Oh, I, I because I felt because <laughs> we had a holiday party yeah. and I fell asleep. Or <sighs> I wanted to say it, but I knew. Yeah. I knew that one, you wouldn't tell me because it would be too early. Uh-huh. And two, you absolutely hate when people are like, "Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant?" So I didn't want to piss you off, all right? I but appreciate I clocked that. You. I, I fucking clocked you, and I wish I would have said something back then. I well, I'm glad you didn't because I kind of would have been mad if you did. <laughs> why i don't know because like i didn't want people to know that early that's like i don't know it's like a clocked. tricky time fucking clocked jo- one of josh's aunts said she knew also because i didn't drink at a holiday party but i also mm-hmm. don't really drink anyway so i don't know <laughs> but that's fine uh the first person i told early though was my brother and i, I was early i was like a month oh. Before I should have, but he was home and I wanted to tell him in person. He lives in South Carolina. It's so. exciting. I mean, he never really is around, and it was the first time he was around. Good yeah. Good job with that. His reaction was so cute, too, because I was like, You're going to be an uncle. And he was just like, No way. It was very sweet. So I'm, I'm glad I told him. I think him he's going to be a great uncle. Yeah, because he, he likes kids. He's he's good Does with he kids. Does he really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, no, I, I I think he's in, not, in that regard, he's like the black sheep of the family. That's cool. Because <laughs> me and my mom. I don't think my dad has a general interest in kids and my mom well, he's, doesn't like kids. He's so. very like, um, not that I know him very well, but like he's very, like I can see him getting into the mix with the kids. Like playing. Like playing with yeah, them yeah. and actually like getting on their level. And stuff. Oh, and yeah, that's yeah. what they love. They love that shit. Yeah. So. But yeah. So uh, <clears throat> So that's what I've been up to uh, nice. minus whatever other holiday stuff. Um, and you, what have you been up to? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Not having any fucking kids. Uh, I already have them. Oh, oh, and, oh! I was like, uh, where'd they go? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, I, I have them, but I yeah, mean, yeah. Like, we're not obviously having any more. Mm-hmm. Thank the Lord. Well, you, you got, you got one of each. I do. I remember Ashley saying before that she wanted four kids. I'm pretty. That's sure. nuts to me. That's so but crazy. Then she had like a pretty traumatic birthing experience yeah. that changes her mind i think i think so and i think once you are you bag twins you're pretty much also like cool i only have to do this once score so mm-hmm. two for one special two yeah for we'll one take special it. yeah it hasn't been easy it's been tough no yeah um, for sure i say that it's getting easier now because we know how to deal with them uh-huh. we know what their personality is like so we know how to how to deal with each they're one they're such like little people it's so cute yeah, they're they're very. I love them so much. Yeah. Like, I, I think about them all the time. Uh, most of my day is spent either thinking about like my job or like what I'm doing for for like the yeah. future, and then like I'll get into my after work mode where I'm kind of relaxing. Every day I think about them and like what I've done and like what I need to do and like Aww. what we've done. I'll like look at pictures for like an hour. It just happens yeah. every fucking night. Aww. Every night. That's so cute. Yeah. Aw. <laughs> You'll spend a lot of time, too, thinking. I'm just going to r- reminisce. Like, mm-hmm. I'll think about things that I said to them and be like, I shouldn't have said that. Or, mm-hmm. like, how could I have said that better? Or, yeah. Or, 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 like, I really think I upset him when I said this. So, mm-hmm. like, I, a lot of my time is spent being, I don't know, sad or depressed about, like, how things played out and how yeah. I wish I could have done it better. But you can't let that get you down. You mm-hmm. just have to kind of move past it and... And, and, you know, next time is the time to try better. And if you're a person, I will tell you this, try to level your ego a little bit. Mm-hmm. Remember that they're people. And that oh, they have yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, like, you're not perfect. And, and you can fuck up, too. So, like. For sure. Show them from an early age that. that Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, including you. And say sorry. I always, I worry about that for myself, too. Why? Or I worry about. 
Do you have a hard things time like saying that. sorry? No, 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 no. Mm. I mean, like, just I constant like I harp on things I said in high school, and it's like. I wish I had done something di- like I harp on things all the time, so I'm I, I'm sure I'm gonna kind of be like that for. It's it's gonna get to you a little bit, obviously. Yeah. But you have to remember that you know, your actions and like the things that you do going forward, you can always improve on it. Yeah. Like that, obviously there comes a point where like nothing you say will make it better because if you've already made it like a t- total shit show, it's yeah, it's gonna be hard to repair. You're not there yet. I'm not there yet. No. Like yeah. And that's all you can do. So. There's so much time. And you're going to be great. It's going to be fine. My only advice to you is yeah. to take your own advice and not take anyone else's, really. Okay. I've been getting so much advice. <laughs> I would say they're all helpful lessons. Oh, yeah, yeah. In your back for sure. pocket and you can store them away for future. Yeah. But really, every child is, like, very different. Yeah. You don't know that it's going to go one way or the other. If you're lucky, mm-hmm. it'll be very easy. If you're unlucky, it might be a little harder. <laughs> But that's what you have friends and family for. Yes. So. Which I'm very grateful for. Um, I feel... I, I, I had been thinking about it too, and I felt bad that like... Why? Because um, I didn't really help you guys much when you had the, the kids. Because I keep seeing like... You didn't give a fuck. Well, I, I care. Well, I care let's, about... Okay, let's be honest. Okay. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not calling you out. I'm not saying yeah. anything about that is bad. You didn't give a fuck about kids. I know, but I cared about you guys. You didn't give a fuck about kids. I know, but I cared about you guys. I don't care. You didn't give a fuck about kids. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I and other people that you know that have kids mm-hmm. of your friend group. Mm-hmm. We care about kids because we have them. Yeah. You know how it is. Cause yeah, and I and our, you guys and people in our friend group who have kids have been like great with advice and offering and everything like that and I'm, i look back at myself and i'm like i didn't offer or say or i didn't do shit to quote tim robinson um so <laughs> like i really did and I, I i don't know i don't, I don't know if it was just because i was when you guys had your kids i was 25 i guess mm. and i didn't want any and it was all very new territory to me yeah. And like I just didn't, but I felt I feel bad about it now because I I wish I had been a little more um, <laughs> helpful. Let me tell you, yeah, you can continue to feel bad about it because the chance, at least for us, not happening. You can't help us anymore. I- <laughs> I'm kidding with you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's fine if you don't if you're not at a stage of life, you really can't do anything about it. Like yeah, like if you're not married, you can't give married advice, right? Right. I mean, you don't know how it is. You're not married. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have kids, how are you going to help? Yeah. I mean, the thing you can do is just be there for people when mm-hmm. you were. So. Because now my algorithm in, on YouTube is like YouTube shorts is like pregnancy or new <clears throat> new parent related videos. Mm-hmm. And I've seen a couple where it's like, we're setting a rule that if people come to visit, they're not there to visit. They're here to help. And I'm like, oh, well, shit, I didn't do that. <laughs> I like held what? the like that their expectation is like you are not a guest there if you come to visit the new baby that you are there to help them take care of the new baby and I was like well I think that's kind of a crock of shit um, <laughs> okay I think there are absolutely people who will go over to visit a new baby and they're not there yeah. to help really like they'll hold the baby they'll do things for you while they're there but their expectation is that they're going to go see the baby yeah I uh, I think that if you have a good support system those people will offer to help mm-hmm. like if I'm coming over or if I, well, you don't invite me to your house anyways, so whatever. I, uh, I, uh, I just figure it's easier to come over to your uh, house because you have children here. That's going to change. I know. Uh, <laughs> if I were to come over to your house, I yeah. would help you. I don't know how I would help you, but yeah, I've been through it, so mm-hmm. I know how to help you. I can do things for you. And another way to help people do that are pregnant or having a baby is to just make them food. And have yes. like a cooked, like a fresh cooked meal mm-hmm. or like a dinner that they can have heat up and heat up. Yeah. And like, that's a big help. Mm-hmm. Watch the baby a couple of times while they get some sleep, like three hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's how you help. Yeah. So anyway, that I've been looking back on that and wishing I did that, but I didn't know. Now I know. So I guess I can't really change. I can't go back almost seven years. You can't go back. So you can't go back and didn't, no one expected you to because we knew that you, you know, you weren't, you weren't fond of children. You didn't like them. And, and now I like, 
I don't know, like six of them. <laughs> I like the I like the ones that I know from people I know, basically. I've never I don't know, I've never been like one of those ones who find pictures of random children cute or pic or videos like I of think kids. children can be very cute. It's even ones that you don't know. I find cuteness in like more the way they act mm -hmm. rather than it just being like, here's a picture of a cute kid. Yeah. Because yeah. Like, it's like, all right, cool. It's a picture of a baby. It's like, like when I see a TikTok video and it's of a kid, like a little kid, it's usually a good video for me because it reminds me of like when my kids were that age, when they were mm -hmm. like two or three and they start doing these little things or like they're playing and it's imagination. I love that. I love to Aww. see their little eyes. Yeah. You know, and how happy they are. Yeah. It's really, it's really a good thing to see that. And I think it's like, you know, like one of the most wholesome things you can have in this world is just a tiny creature that doesn't see anything wrong with the world. Like I know, it's yeah, the most pure form of being a human. Yeah. So. So things like that I find more cute than just like. I don't know. That's normal. That's Those totally things. normal. Okay. okay. If I listen. I don't have a problem with babies really anymore. I used to. I used to hate babies mm -hmm. so much. They were just loud. I I was the person that didn't want to sit next to a baby on a plane because, you know, like whatever. I understand it now. It's tough. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. going to be that person with a baby on a plane, by the way, at some point. I want to try to avoid taking my baby on a plane as long as I can, but that's just me. Or a small child. Like they're going to be small. Okay, that's and true. And they're going to take a flight somewhere and they're going to be annoying. <laughs> because cool. that's just how they are yay <laughs> so. but you want to know what yeah most people who are normal like and not fucking idiots or freaks <laughs> jesus they will just move on with their lives right they will just tune them out mm -hmm. and be normal it's the fucking idiots who like get really upset and are like you shouldn't be allowed to bring a baby on a plane it's like they're human right Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I, didn't, I didn't check my baby at the yeah, bag check. I'm my sorry bad. about that. They should have been stowed away. <laughs> right? That's yeah. what you wanted. So nobody could hear them cry. I get wanting peace on an airplane, but I also like... People bring their fucking dogs into Walmart. Like, like yeah. is that supposed to... Be? Service dogs are one thing, but oh, I yeah, see people yeah, just yeah. bringing in their fucking dog just to shop around. It's like, mm -hmm. that thing shouldn't be in the fucking no. store. <laughs> or a restaurant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm pissed. I used to work at Riled Home Depot. up now. I used to work at Home Depot. Everybody, every asshole who was a weekend warrior would bring their fucking lab or oh, whatever weekend in, the, in the cart and they'd be like breaking shit or like tearing shit open. I'm like, your dog is cute. Get it out of the store. Right, yeah. Sorry. It was a service dog. We'll tell it to do a better job. <laughs> it should service you better. Yeah. It's doing it's doing very poor service right now. It's costing you money. It's costing me service time. Yeah. Where's my service dog? Yeah. Don't I get one? Sorry, right. Troy. No, you're fine. Mm. Uh but yeah, so anyway, I don't want to make this whole thing about <laughs> Let's move on. Pregnancy stuff. Okay. Um, so things that have happened in other otherwise since we last recorded, you went to California. I did go to California. When it wasn't on fire. Good job. Is it on fire now? I don't know. Probably okay. eventually soon. Uh, we went to California. We went to, um, we were in LA. We were in LA for the first part of it. Yeah, I haven't asked you too much about this because I was like, we'll talk about it on the podcast. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we just haven't haven't done that until just now. So uh, it was cool. I yeah. I never wanted to go to California in my life mm -hmm. because I figured it was very much like Florida. Oh, uh, because okay. I grew up in Florida, and so it was it was similar, reference. but it was different enough that I'm like, yeah, this is nice. I like I like it. Um. One thing I really wanted to do when I was there, and I didn't get to do. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you about that in a minute. One of the oh, I think I remember. I think I know what it is, but probably. Uh, we went to L.A. because we were going to a couple places. We were going to take the kids to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. That was the second half of the trip. Because that was their Christmas. That was their present, Christmas present. Yeah. They got like less gifts, but a they big got trip. to go on a big trip. Yeah, that was the the compromise. Like, mm -hmm. hey, you can do this or you can do this, and they yeah. chose. The right choice, I think. Um, you okay? Yeah, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll it's wrap a, it up. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, no. It's a side effect of just being... I haven't had a full night's sleep since I've been pregnant, actually. Oh, so. That sucks. You... I wake up in the middle of the night all the time now, so... I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Um, it's the creature. Uh, <laughs> it's not a creature. <laughs> my daughter. Um, <laughs> anyway, sorry. Don't call me daughter. Sorry, uh, go ahead. 
California. Yes, Sorry. they they chose a trip which you think was the better option. It was a better option. We went yeah. to California for Disneyland, and we went to uh, Universal Studios over there, which has um, Super Mario, Super Mario Land World, whatever it's called. That, that's the L. Yeah, I'm taking the L. Taking the L. Um, which was neat. We went there. Uh, it we, looked really cool. I've seen a bunch of people review it and stuff. And it's definitely cool. It yeah. it was nice. It was a good experience. They, the only problem with Super Mario Land or World, whatever it's called, yeah. is that it's too small right now. There's not enough to do. That's what I've heard also. Yeah. There's like one ride, maybe two rides. No, one ride. And uh, the kids loved it. Mm-hmm. And it looks impressive. Like, it looks really cool. Mm-hmm. And the ride we went on was Mario Kart, which was really oh, okay. cool. You go into Bowser's Castle and, like, see all the shit. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Okay. I've s- I saw Bowser's Castle from pictures and stuff but i didn't know that it had the mario kart game in it yeah or uh, ride in it yeah yeah like you are in mario kart and you get to Aww. shoot the things and stuff it's not as fun as the game i'll tell you that well that's okay but whatever um that was neat mm-hmm. there is a restaurant that i wanted to go to in there mm-hmm. that we didn't go to because you have to like literally be either booked out like you have uh, to book that shit in advance which okay. i didn't know mm-hmm. so i was not able to go to the toadstool cafe which Made me sad because yeah. one of the things I really wanted to do on this trip was eat. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because um, Cali had some great food, man. Mm-hmm. They had great food. It was expensive. Oh, I bet. But don't worry about her. She's she's a big she's, baby, and if she dies, she dies. We're talking about his cat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. So that was neat. Yeah. The kids had fun there. Uh, the flight there was uh, we had a layover in uh, Las Vegas. Oh. Which some people would be like, yeah, that sounds awesome. It's not. It's not, especially There's with two kids. slot machines in the airport, though, right? Yeah, my son thought they were video games. So he's I like, mean, they're technically, they're <laughs> just very adult video games. I had to tell him, games. like, they're not, you can't play these games, first yeah. of all, because you can't. Mm. Second of all, no. Yeah. And he's like, Dad, there's video games right here. I want to play them. And he almost had a tantrum. To tell him he's, he'd go to jail if he played those video games. He didn't believe me. Um Find a friendly, friendly uh, security officer in the airport and tell him. I know. So we had a like a short layover there. We thought yeah. we were going to be there longer because our flight was late. Luckily, yeah. it was not that bad. Got on the flight. Got to LA. Yeah. Finally get there. We landed. LAX is humongous and also kind of shitty. I've heard that. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. Um, got in a rental car. Got to the hotel. It was fine. We go to Universal. We go to this Sonic Cafe. Oh, it's called, what is it called? The Sonic Speed Cafe or something that is completely and utterly misleading? It is entirely a cash grab, which whatever. Mm-hmm. We waited to go to this fucking restaurant, right? It was a pop-up restaurant. Yeah. It's not even like a good re- restaurant. I'm like just burp right in the mic. It's gross. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm getting sorry. choked up just thinking about no, that. No, I have Harper now. I, hey. Um, well, <laughs> I, <sighs> thinking about it gives you heartburn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You asked me like what what new has occurred with me heartburn by the way which yeah, is not which is not pregnancy related for you I don't think it is I, <laughs> you know that if you pee on a pregnancy test when you're a guy and it, is, it comes up positive you have cancer it's funny because you did tell me that and I never heard of that before I've but then, never heard of that either but then like the YouTube algorithm listened to me and it showed me a short that said the same thing and I was like well what the hell like I isn't had- that crazy yeah what the and fuck? the great way to to circumvent that for you is to just never pee on a pregnancy test i i hope to never do that yeah so anyways we waited in this fucking line for how long four hours i was making so many fucking deals with the kids like and and you know what the worst thing a thing was was that california at that week that we were there was cold okay oh okay it was in like the it was in like the 60s and 50s which which doesn't feel cold but like it was cold enough all right i'm a cold person i get cold a lot yeah all right. But you got that sick sweatshirt you're wearing over I there, love right? this sweat. I got this at Marshall's over there. Nice. It looks really cool. Thank you. I like it. Yeah. Um, Made the trip worthwhile. I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> no. The trip was great. Yeah. Uh, so we waited in this line for four fucking hours. I tried to make so many deals with the kids. I'm like, I will take you here. I will take you there. I will buy you this. I will buy you that. If we get out of this line right now. Oh, oh, oh. I was going to say, because they, they were the ones who wanted to stay My in daughter world. was like, no. Oh. Jeez. We are going to get this Sonic hot dog or the chicken tenders or whatever. Man, her determination. I wonder who she gets that from. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. So we get to the thing. My yeah. son's melting down. And uh, at that point, yeah. when he starts to melt down, we've been in the line for about three and a half hours. So I'm like, 
we're finishing this. We're, right. We're here. I can see the door right there. Yeah. Okay, I can smell this shitty chicken wings or whatever. Chili right dogs. There. I got a chili dog because that's what yeah. Sonic eats. Mm-hmm. I didn't eat it. I know. I why why was that? You just I was tired. I was yeah. exhausted. I w- we were jet lagged a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Because they're three hours behind. Mm-hmm. I it was way past my normal bedtime. So it was just past everybody's bedtime. Past everybody's bedtime. Yeah. It's freezing. I don't want to eat it outside the shop. Yeah. At the tables they have. Because mm-hmm. there's no space in the shop. It's a pop-up shop. It was yeah. very small. Yeah, I saw there was pictures and it looked pretty cramped. It was very cramped. I don't... I'm not going to eat it in the rental car because it's a rental car. I'm not going to fuck it up. With a chili dog. Like, I'm trying to drive and eat. Like, not a good <laughs> idea, right? Get to the hotel. Come back. The kids eat. They're breaking down, but they're fine. Mm-hmm. There's a chili dog here. It looks like shit. <laughs> it looks like absolute garbage. <laughs> Yeah. I don't need it. I'm done. Yeah. The next day when we come out of Universal, I'm like, we're going to, to um, fuck, what was it called? In-N-Out? In-N-Out Burger. Yes. Because I had, I had wanted an In-N-Out Burger. I wanted and that's to... what the pla- one of the places people always say you should go right. in California. Right. I actually got that recommended from somebody that I know on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, we got to go. Yeah. That apparently was the night of the Academy Awards or some shit. Oh. And we're like, what the fuck is going on? Why are there lines out the fucking hell oh. back? I Ashley's scrolling through the news and she sees fucking Paul Giamatti at In and Out Burger. I'm like, this motherfucker couldn't wait another day. <laughs> like he had to they they went to In and Out Burger. Yeah. Don't they feed these motherfuckers at the right. Academy Awards or whatever the fuck no, this is? I think they I don't think they do, actually. I feel like that should be a requirement if you're like going to that shit, right? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I but. me either. Yeah, I don't. So we went to another In and Out. Oh, yeah. But we were still in LA. Mm-hmm. So there was lines yeah. out the fucking ass. So you never got In and Out Burger? I never got an In and Out Burger at all. That's so sad. I got sad. an Out and Out Burger. Okay. Down and Out uh, Burger. Da- ah, fuck. You beat me to it. <laughs> I was going right there. A down, down and Out Burger. Down and Out Burger. That was what I got. That's so sad. It's very sad. I didn't have a single. Fu- I'm so sad. I, I'm I know. So I'm, sad. So, I'm sorry. And nobody wanted to eat the food that I wanted to eat. So I couldn't go to like a Mexican restaurant or something oh. because nobody wanted it. So we, the only Mexican food I ate was like at, at Disneyland and it was okay at best. Mm-hmm. Was there any food that you got to eat that was like worthwhile to you or was it all just sort of okay at best? We went to this restaurant, this, this diner in LA. Mm-hmm. I, I forgot what it's called. I, I wish I remembered. I think it was called like Patty's or something. Maybe not. Mm-hmm. And it was really good. They had a bunch of like just basic American food options. Mm-hmm. Burgers, pancakes for breakfast. Awesome. Their their omelet was awesome. Their pancakes were so good. It was like some of the best pancakes I've ever had. Oh, nice. The bacon cooked perfectly. Ooh. Cooked perfectly. Nice. Yeah. It was nice. Pictures on the wall of, you know, whatever celebrity came in. Oh, okay. And the dessert. I wanted the dessert there because it looked so fucking good. They had like key lime pie bunch of good stuff in there i didn't get to eat it but it's it's fine Mm -hmm. well and then you also said too about the about the mario Mm. park world land okay place uh there's not a lot of characters no no they didn't have our boy wario yeah no they they have uh mario they have peach i think they have luigi bowser i don't know if they have a bowser and sometimes they have like the meet and greet things where you can. Oh yeah, yeah. Like take a picture with them. But you said you couldn't even find any like merch or anything of. There was no Mo- Wario uh, merch yet, and I think it's strictly because he's not in the ride. If if you're not in the ride, you don't exist right now. But everybody, I it just seems like such blatant erasure. It is. But, and for what? It is because he cooked the pizza, right? He make the spaghetti. He cook. He he collected the coin. <laughs> he. Co- all the coin he get a he get of the wealth yeah he wario the wear he wario the wear he make it the <laughs> castle but, uh but that might also be a testament like you said to how to that the park is small so it's small there's not a lot to do there it's cool i if you're in the but it's area not a day park no yeah okay like that that section mm-hmm. i wish the nintendo section was the like its own place. Yeah. Its own park. Well, that's what people have been wanting so. for a while with that and like Pokemon. Those were the two franchises that like. That'd be great. People really have been wanting for ages and ages. The next thing they're expanding on is, I don't know if it's America or, or Japan, but it's a Donkey Kong minecart ride, which is perfect because Ooh. it's in the game. 
and I think it's gonna be great. But that there was no Donkey Kong either, by the way. <sighs> my boy. My other my my <laughs> my boy. My other boy. <laughs> my other boy. But yeah, that boy. was that was California, and then we went, and nutshell. then we came back, and then here we are. What was the highlight? Oh my god! For you, the highlight of the the park was we went to this. We went to the Disney Hotel in Anaheim, mm-hmm. which was really nice. It was probably the best Disney hotel I've ever stayed in, and it was actually a really awesome room. They upgraded us. We were like on oh. the tenth floor. Nice. We had a park view from our window, mm-hmm. and the, the hotel room was just amazing. I wish we could have spent more time there. But um, we went to this park called California Adventure. Okay. Which is just you know another Disney theme park, but they don't have it in Florida, so right, yeah, it doesn't exist. And we went on this ferry, Ferris wheel. Mm-hmm. Iconic Ferris wheel. You can see it in all the pictures. Like yeah. If you Google California Adventure, you're going to see the Ferris wheel. Yeah. Right? And it, it was it had two sections. One of the sections was stationary, so it's not moving. Mm-hmm. Just going up and down. And the other one is, it's got like rocking things. But it rocks kind of crazy and you're up high, so it feels kind of... Unsafe. Yeah. But it's fun. But <laughs> Unsafe fun. So they both wanted to do the rocking one, right? Yeah. Both my kids. Yeah. You get in the rocking one. My daughter's next to me on the side, just the same seat that you're in. Yeah. Across from me, it's my son, and my wife, mm-hmm. right? What happens? It's, it goes up. It's fine. It starts to rock. My son flies out of the seat. He hits the ground. I start <laughs> fucking laughing because he's on the ground. I know he's fine. Yeah. He's just like, oh. Yeah. Like he makes a noise too. It's so Aww. funny. Uh, Jesus. And my daughter is clinging on to me. I'm going to cling on to you just for a second. Okay. okay. Yeah. She's got her arm like. You know, like how you wrap it around like yeah. this. Please don't let me do this again. Aww. Don't ever let me do this again. Don't ever let me do this again. <laughs> and she's holding on for dear life. Yeah. She's like, Dad, don't let me do this again. Dad, don't let me do this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's having a panic attack. She's crying. Aww. My wife is like, help this, your son. And I can't. I can't help him. No. She has to get up a little bit, yeah. reach up, pick up my son, put him back in the seat. My daughter's screaming. Oh, my God. It was amazing. It was so fun. <laughs> it was amazing. It was so That was funny. the highlight of your trip. But then they went on the Galaxy of the Guardians ride later yeah. on. And it would, it, that's a Tower of Terror. Oh, okay. I don't like those rides because it just doesn't make me feel right. Uh-huh. I get fucked yeah. with my, uh, my head or whatever, my equilibrium. Yeah, yeah. They loved it. And so how the fuck could they like that ride <laughs> but not handle a Ferris wheel that, that moves just a tiny bit? Maybe it's just because they have an expectation of what a Ferris wheel is supposed to be like. Maybe. Maybe. And that might require some child psychologist to analyze. It the- was so funny. Oh, my God. It was so funny. <laughs> and so that was the moment that made the trip worth it for you. So good. Oh my so God. fucking good. Uh, definitely check out California. I-, I think it's fun. It's really cool. Go in March, I guess. Maybe when it's a little warmer. Also. Because you went in January. Yeah. One thing I forgot is that it doesn't rain in California or, or like it doesn't rain a lot. But they're supposed so. to be getting rain and snow in Southern California this right. uh, in a week or two. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 I mean, it's just, I don't Enjoy know. Enjoy your rain, freaks. I do feel bad, though, because you're going to hear about a lot of, like, I don't know, traffic accidents or whatever. And disasters. They don't know how to handle snow. Oh, yeah, the highways are awful, too, by yeah. the way. The highways are always, like... Oh, in California. They weren't that bad for us because we didn't end up driving too far once we got to the hotels and stuff. Yeah. But, like, the first day when we got there, it was a Friday, and it was, like, rush uh, hour time. It was, like, 4 to 5 o'clock. Yeah. It took us, like, an hour to get where we needed to go. I, I don't know if I'd ever be able to you make it in California. No, you – for a visit. I'm talking a visit. I'm not, I'm not talking oh, about yeah. living there. Yeah. Sort of like Maine because they advertise themselves as vacation land. They don't advertise Who themselves. Who the fuck vacations in Maine? Oh, you'd be surprised. I uh, would be. Many people. Um <clears throat> I bel- I also think the Bush family had a property in Maine, maybe. Stephen King lives there. Stephen King, huh? Mm-hmm. But he lives there. That's not that's not visiting there. But uh yeah, there's certain places where it's like I could see myself hanging out here for like five mm-hmm. or six days. Can't see myself living here and yeah. making a living here. Good luck everybody <laughs> else. One thing was that uh because it was colder, there was no, like, really crazy humidity or anything. Mm-hmm. So it's not like visiting Florida where it's always hot and always humid and, mm-hmm. and you're just going to die. <laughs> so. I went to Florida last week, actually. Let's talk about that. What? Why'd you go? Um, My cousin got married at the Kennedy Space Center, which is so That cool. is the coolest place to get married, I think. Or one of the coolest I, that I can think of. I have yet to look up how much something like that costs because in my mind it's like they do the wedding at this 
the, at the space center in mm-hmm. the central area of the park called the rocket garden it's just literally a bunch of all the all the uh, rockets uh or replicas of them mm-hmm. um and they do the, the the wedding and then you um it's after hours so you don't have to like shoo anybody away so but like how much does it cost to keep it open after hours or whatever then there's a reception hall um unfortunately at that point in my pregnancy which i'm kind of in right now too is like a a severe appetite decrease like i just was not really hungry for Mm. anything so i didn't really i had some of the food but not really but it looked good um the highlight for me though legitimately was um they had think like little sticks of butter and they are shaped like rocket ships i loved that i thought that was so cool uh (laughs) but you couldn't take that back with you huh no, I took a picture, but that's mm. that's that's really all I needed. But uh, but and but when I was there, apparently it was unusually. I had to say opposite problem. It was unusually hot for what it's supposed to be in Florida right now. It reached eighty when I was there. In yeah. Fe- in February, and I had n- not Florida-born people. My cousins moved <laughs> from to there from Massachusetts when we were kids, but people all around were saying like, yeah, it's not usually this hot ever mm. in mid-February. Yeah, yeah, it's not. In February, February was the time where usually the like the fair would come to town, mm-hmm. and I always remember being in, in like a hoodie and like long pants for that. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, it does get cold sometimes, and by cold, it's not the cold that you think it is. It's it's just it, less hot. It's like early spring in Massachusetts here. Kind of. Sometimes it gets a little colder. Okay. Um, yeah. I remember going. I had to go to Florida in January for um my uncle's um memorial service yeah and i was wearing like a t-shirt and capri pants like i thought it was awesome and everybody else around me was like in a hoodie <laughs> whatever and i was like it depends i was like what do you mean guys it's like what do you mean it what was are you like talking about yeah high 50s low 60s i was like this is awesome Dude, i feel great i can't do this back home i had there's this snow shit up there i had a beanie on too in california because it was fucking windy too like, oh it was yeah windy and cold and that was mm-hmm. it was awful something that is really funny to me about florida um Mm -hmm. is go ahead how how many bodies of water there are like not the ocean but like just bodies of water like off on the sides of highways and they have them like gated off because there's alligators living in them yeah and so the whole time i'm like it's a swamp i know i was looking for alligators though it was so fun they're in there they i i saw a couple there was one that was like swimming along i was so happy it's yeah. like when i go to maine and i try to find a moose or something and every time i bring up a moose or when i brought up alligators my husband's like why do you want to see them so bad and stuff like as if i want to like go up and touch one it's like no no, no i just want to see this is like jurassic park for me these things have been <sighs> around for millions of years unchanged by man more yeah more or less so I don't know. I thought that part was cool. It was cool to see the alligators. So. They just kind of sit outside. They uh, they swim. They'll they'll go onto like a bank and they'll just sun themselves for yeah. hours and just stay there like this. Like it's just funny because and and then my husband was like, "Well, yeah, they just caged them off because they were there first. Because I think I asked something like, "Why don't they just <laughs> like Patrick? Like, why don't they just like pick them up and move them over there or whatever? Like, just get rid of them. But, They're wildlife. Yeah. So they live there. It's their land. It's kind of like how um. There was that big story about that toddler who got attacked I, or mauled by, yeah, by mm-hmm. a, an Disney alligator. Disney World, rather. Sorry. Which I get them mixed up all the time. It makes, mm-hmm. I just I just say Disney as a general, whatever. World. Yeah. And people are like, <clears throat> well, what did you expect? <laughs> sort of thing. A little heartless. Um, just no, no, yeah. I get it. Like, he should. Yeah, the kid shouldn't have been in there, obviously. But, like. I don't know. Shit happens. Kids get away sometimes, and hopefully they put up a fence. I guess. I don't know. Or it, something. It sucks. It it's like the worst combination of like, well, he shouldn't have been in there, but also like, it sucks that he got in there because you know, yeah, alligator. Yeah. So. So yeah. Anyway, our Florida trip was less than three days. Mm-hmm. We were there. It was strictly business. <laughs> we were there for. We went and Three visited days. the Kennedy Space Center when it was open, mm-hmm. and it was cool to see all the exhibits and stuff like that. But our general sense was that like there, it wasn't very well maintained in certain. That's sad. Like there were certain things that were supposed to be interactive, um, and they just didn't quite work. 
very well. Oh, that shit used to work back in the day. I went on a field trip in fourth grade to the Kennedy Space Center mm-hmm. with uh, my mom was that's a chaperone. Such a cool, yeah, that's and so cool. Yeah, it was awesome. I had a, a this kid named Jesse went with me. He was in my my group with my mom. Uh huh. And we hung out and went to the Kennedy Space Center. And then I bought a model of a spaceship that I never built. So. Aw. <laughs> um, like the the highlights for us were the like touring exhibit things but like walking around it was cool to see all the stuff like walking around and doing it on our own and stuff but there was just some things where it was like this seems like this should function and it doesn't or this 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 seems like it should work and nothing's happening or whatever <laughs> so uh so that was kind of a bummer but uh yeah and also we <laughs> stupidly picked the first food place that we saw because i was I starving know. Um, and it was the most chaotic, like, and also disorganized thing ever. It was, and the food was not good anyway. It was not. What was it? I can't remember. It was like this, inc- what, what, the place or what I got? Yeah. What did you get? All I wanted was a stupid salad. I wanted mm-hmm. a salad and I was like, I need something that's also kind of heavy and filling. So I got like this by default, they were gluten-free, dairy-free blondie brownies. Okay. And it was like the most crumbly thing ever. Like I couldn't pick it up without it falling apart. And the sal, we you have to go to a kiosk and mm-hmm. put your order and stuff too. Print out a blank blank receipt from my mom. <laughs> so like we had no proof of anything. Ugh. And then they had um, three stations on each side of food pickup. Mm. And on the the screens, it was supposed to say what your order number was. And I saw it on the screen because otherwise <laughs> it doesn't say it on a receipt. So like who knows i don't know uh and our number just never came up ever oh, it God. would just skip numbers and then my mom was trying to rationalize it because we were number like 300 something um and she thought that like the corresponding numbers for the pickup windows were corresponding to the hundreds and i was like well no because 301s on this side and then 302s on the other side of this pick like it made no sense and it was just chaotic and stupid and dumb. see that's when they can use a little bit of disnification there yeah yeah, for sure. You know? So, so, I think for, like, a guided tour of everything and just kind of looking around, it was good. But, like, it was it's also expensive. It's, like, $75 and stuff. And sort of, like... It's a cash grab. It's always been expensive. Yeah. But it's definitely probably more expensive now. Oh, my parents also, because they were there for a little bit longer, um, mm-hmm. they went to SeaWorld. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, do you know how expensive it is to go to SeaWorld now? Yeah. Yeah, it was like $130 per person. That's crazy. And that's probably what, like, Disney tickets cost. Yeah. It was so, I, it's it was a lot. So, to save money, Josh and I took the cheapest airline, stayed for the minimum amount of days. Spirit, baby. We Ubered to save money. Uh, we tried to be as cost effective as possible. Because mm-hmm. also, we had to save for the baby anyway. So Yeah. But on the flip side, it was nice to see family that I haven't seen in a while, and they got to talk about the baby and, and stuff, too, like that. It was nice. But but anyway, um, I'm kind of curious, actually, if they list how much a Kennedy Space Center wedding is. <laughs> Damn it. I'm trying to grab her. <laughs> You're tricking your cat. I'm, I just want her to come here. She wants she wants to be around me, so I want her to she be here to be with me. She wants to be on camera. She wants to be famous. She has been on camera before, slightly. Yeah. Come here. She's our best recurring She's character. She's just so flighty. She's just a little... Lady baby. Okay. <laughs> there she is. There she is. She's not clawing me. Totally. She's so... She, Hello, aw, Tiny. She's so happy. What would you like to say? Oh, apparently, I downloaded the Kennedy Space Center wedding program. I didn't mean to <laughs> do that. Aw. Okay, you can talk again. Go ahead. What do you want to say? What do you have to say for yourself? Hmm? Do you want to say something? No. Okay. Goodbye. It doesn't even tell you how much it costs. It's so weird. What? Can I space center? Yeah. For the wedding? Yeah, for the wedding. Uh, That's probably something you have to like talk to a consultant about because it's probably a, a lot of different price levels. Def- definitely, from what I'm seeing, because there's like different tiers and how many guests and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And there wasn't a lot of us, so that was also good. But but yeah, so it was, a, it was an interesting time at the... Kennedy Space Center, and I'm glad I went because it was a cool experience, and I'm glad to see family, and that was all good and well and good. And I wore shorts in February. 
which is weird. Awesome. So, and then I came back here. It was two days before a big, supposedly a big snowstorm. <laughs> uh, about Good 25K. Fun. That's the one I saw too, <clears throat> but I think that's for the most expensive because I saw some package where it was like, you can have up to 500 people or whatever, which yeah, where the guess. hell do you put 500 people? I don't know. How do you? Do I don't you, know. And I wouldn't want that many people at my wedding. Right. Do you know 500 people? Like, nope. <sighs> Not, not collectively. No. I don't even think. That's when you get to like third cousins who live in Idaho or whatever. Twice like, removed. Twice removed. Myrtle. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Good. I'm glad you got to wear shorts in February and that you saw the Chinese <laughs> Space Center and that um, it was not entirely disappointing. So. No, not entirely. So. Um, where? How are we for? Um, what are we at for time? time? About an hour and four minutes and we can totally end whenever. Okay. So if you're ready to to end this shit, we can do it right now. Nah, I think we can go a little bit more eh, about stuff. I don't know. Okay. It was eleven o'clock, so you want to keep an eye on your time too. I uh, yeah, because I um, fall. I'm just well, yeah. so I don't fall. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. If I'm just sitting at home now, mm-hmm. like I don't know the last time that Josh and I have been able to finish a single episode of something or a TV or a movie. Like without mm-hmm. me falling asleep, and it will be. It can be any time after like six p.m. I'm right. an, I'm basically a narcoleptic. It's really annoying. It. And then I wake it up. Must be. And it's like nine p.m. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm awake now. And then it's eleven p.m. About, and then I go back to sleep. And then it's like one or two in the morning, and I go, the baby needs bread. So I just <laughs> wander off to the kitchen and like eat the baby needs eat a bread. piece of bread i'm just hungry and i need to eat something and bread's the most immediate thing that like i my stomach had the rumblies that only bread can satisfy <laughs> so and then i go back to bed again and i that's been my routine literally since um like early december and i have not slept solidly since then i'm sorry that's okay it's it is what it is it's good practice <laughs> So that's why I guess I fall asleep yeah. at 6 p.m. is to make up for the fact that I just don't. 6 p.m. My God, that's so awful. I'll wake up after a couple hours, though. Like, it's just a power nap. <laughs> and then I wake up at 8 p.m. Oh and stay up for a couple more hours. Uh, it's, it's screwed up, man. No, I'm, I know. I'm, I know. I'm, so, I'm I know. a mess and stressed. No, I get it. You're <laughs> pregnant. You, that's how it is. That's just how it is. There's nothing. Uh, you cannot get around that, unfortunately. Like, no. The symptoms are there because. Yeah. It's alive. Josh and I have been jokingly calling her like a leech or a parasite or something. Well, she is. Yes. Uh, no. De- no. <laughs> she definitely. Is. She. Yes. Um. It's just funny because we were. I was joking like, you know, it'd be great is like when we found out we were pregnant and if she ever asks us like, like if we say, do you want to know what nickname we came up for you with mm-hmm. for you, parasite. <laughs> no, no, you don't get it. We spelled it parasite. Parasite. Paris, like cute just like paris in france you know yeah or paris in texas or paris hilton perez hilton too he's a sleazeball uh yeah i don't know much about him um but but yeah no i mean it is <clears throat> she she's leeching energy out of me and um my ability to stay awake on my own couch for more than 30 minutes if i'm doing something like we're it's it's kind of late at night now so we're doing the podcast mm-hmm I'm doing something mm-hmm. so I can stay awake. I'm focused on doing something. Uh, although I'm not gonna lie, this Kotatsu because we're under the Kotatsu, I yeah. should be mentioning. Uh, really, really comfortable. <laughs> it is. It's great. <laughs> really nice. All right, I think but, we're probably gonna wrap it, just because I think. I think you. Are you sure? Yeah. I can't keep going. Mm, I don't think you can. What? You. I wish. I don't have time to do this because I, I've got too much going on. But if I could, what super... do you got going on? Well, I mean, I have to edit this. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I know. I have a lot of things in my life going on. Yes. Concurrently, so I yes. don't have a lot of time to edit. No. So. Yeah. It would probably be better that it's a shorter episode for that reason, or for one. Okay. And two, if I had time, <laughs> on top of the time that I don't have, mm-hmm. to do a super compilation of every time you've yawned during this episode i would <laughs> it's only been like three times no it hasn't really i don't know mm-hmm. i don't know I, I wanted to make this a more well-rounded episode because i didn't want it to just be me talking about me being pregnant I mean, it is what it is 
I guess so. It's a big thing. I guess it's just. What are you that... going to talk about anyways? What are you got to talk? What do you got to talk Christmas about? Christmas happened. Than that? I turned thirty-two. Who cares about Christmas? I care about Christmas. The good thing about Christmas with oh a... god. <laughs> The good thing about Christmas with a newborn, which we will have by the time the next Christmas comes around, is you don't have to wrap anything. You don't have to wrap anything. You don't have to pretend like Santa exists for the child because by this time for my child, she'll be six months. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to do anything. It's pretty nice. I mean, I'll buy stuff. I just don't have to wrap anything and make a big to-do about it or anything. You know what I mean? Did you not... No, I live with Ashley. She wraps everything. <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean because everything was wrapped. And they're sitting really? here like they they're were sitting like here nine like you're like <laughs> And Ashley's like unwrap it, unwrap it. And they don't know what to do. They're just standing there like doing this and they think it's fun they're for just a like second. Hitting the yeah. Yeah. Cuz they don't understand it. Yeah. They don't fucking understand it. And I get what you're saying and I'm glad that that's what your life is going to be like. That was not my <laughs> life. That's not what happened to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because <laughs> I thought the same thing too. I'm like, you don't have to do shit now. This is great. Yeah. You know, they don't know. But no, no. People want to see them unwrapping the gift because that's what the baby likes to do. They like to unwrap the gift. And do you see them unwrap well, the gift? If they want to spend, if if I, if there's family members who want to spend time wrapping a gift for a six month old. They will. Pop off. They will. Your mom will it. do it. I don't know that she will. Mm -hmm. I feel like my aunts would probably do that. Fair. But. uh Fair. Someone's going to do it in your life. Yeah. It won't be me. Not for, okay. the, not for the first Christmas. Okay. You'll probably be too tired to do it anyway. So I, I, I do trust that you're you're 100% there. Mm -hmm. But I'm just telling you, it wasn't like that for me. I'm, I'm glad so it's sorry. going to be like that for you. I'm sorry. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I've had a lot of therapy to deal with this. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, Doc, I, she just keeps <laughs> wrapping stuff. I just she, keep finding wrapping paper I, everywhere. Just, it, she wrapped the baby. She wrapped both of them. Yeah. Um, there are <laughs> gifts, honey. <laughs> My presence is your present. Oh. Um, but yeah, this is really. I mean, you turned thirty-two, which is great. I'm um, I'm happy for you. Such uh, a weird. Bird. I went ice skating three months pregnant. Ha ha. Very that's fun. That's a great thing to do. I guess so. <laughs> so I mean, I was fine. I even fell, but I fell like, I fell like, uh, well, no, I fell like on my Knees. leg and then like kind of yeah. kind of to the side. I didn't like fall. You fell in the first. proper position to break your leg or your arm. Yeah, you know. Gotcha. I, <laughs> So, I don't know. That's probably not a good... I haven't told a doctor or anything about it. And so far, the baby seems fine. I don't think a fall that didn't impact no, my stomach no, is whatever. No. I was getting exercise. You're fine. As a 32-year-old mom-to-be by uh -huh. going ice skating at Frog Pond in Boston. Good. Yeah. I'm glad you did it. Me too. Because Glenn. I won't be able to ice skate probably till next year. <laughs> you think? Bum, bum, bum. Maybe, maybe. I mean, maybe earlier. If I'm lucky. Probably not. The fact that you think you're gonna be going ice skating with a fucking infant, like oh, like, I'm, that's, I'll that's have so somebody. Funny. She can. She somebody can watch her. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah it's so easy. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to do. Maybe it is for you because like you literally have almost like like kind of like a living babysitter a little bit, just because your parents are kind of nice and and they live very close. So, mm -hmm. um, but like, I don't know. It's tough. It's oh hard for to get sure, yeah. I I will I will covet and treasure every moment by I can. yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. But at the same time, I've been sitting at home, being like, mm -hmm. I'm kind of bored just sitting here. Grass is, I mean, not that the grass is greener, but like from my perspective, it's like I've been sitting and doing the kind of the same routine yeah. by myself. So maybe I welcome something new. I don't know. <laughs> I probably won't be saying that when it happens, but. It's it's all up to perspective, man. How yeah. do you how you treat it is how it is, and you know, if you have something that you legitimately want to bring up right now, please don't don't hold back. You can say whatever you gotta say. If if you don't have anything, I think it's a good place to end. Um, I don't think I have anything else that is outside of this whole like baby talk episode. Mm -hmm. Um, I hope to talk about it a little less next time. Uh. <laughs> But it's been a crazy – well, I haven't been able to talk about it even during podcast episodes past either. So it's been a crazy time of not saying anything, mm -hmm. which is wild. I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised. Like, I, I'm surprised I didn't tell people before I was supposed, supposed to, quote, unquote. 
No, you're good about that. You wouldn't have. <sighs> no, it was hard though. Of course it was. So. Of course. It helps that like I already wasn't like a big going out person or drinker or whatever. So people mm-hmm. weren't like, how come you're not drinking any alcohol today or whatever. So. <laughs> then your fucking business. I, Stay away from me. I just me. don't want to. M- Melissa, I don't know. I don't have a. I don't have a relative named Melissa. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's just anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's cool. You <laughs> went. You went ice skating for your birthday. Uh, I don't know what else you did uh, in the month that's passed since then. I don't gosh, it's all think like, there was anything really. I really blur. didn't do much. I haven't done jack shit. So you're working on a very elaborate uh, Lego set. I am, but. That's, that's you know, something. That's take a couple months, you know. It's so cool. It's a Japanese, uh, like temple pagoda thing, my bob, shrine. You just say castle. Castle. Yeah. Shit. <sighs> the word's castle. I couldn't think of. It. That's okay. I couldn't. That's think all right. Word. That's all right. We I know said that. every other word. We all know my news isn't that important anymore. It. So that's, that's not okay. T- what? That's, Anyways, I, that's not true. Your news is very important. Okay. I look forward to all the updates uh, that you post on your Twitter at you know Lumo for and uh, check him out for all of his uh, you also don't Japanese have to, temple you don't have to updates. Shout it out. I don't really advertise on my Twitter. That's much. okay. I'm gonna do it anyway. It's been a while. Stained. Yes. Oh yeah. I had just finally forgotten about that song. Um. Anyway, <clears throat> check Lewis out his, at his socials. They are all the same because he is a consistent son of a gun at you know Lumo. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you want me to say yours? Are you sure. Okay with that? You just have a couple of bot followers, so I don't know. If a couple. Oh my. Invite God. a few more in. I'm so bummed out about <sighs> Elon. Fix your site he's in multiple out. ways. Why do you think he's going to? Why do you think know. he would? What's in it for him? They did some survey about like the amount of bots tweeting about the Super Bowl, and and it was like he doesn't care. He loves of, that shit. Of the yeah, well, because he thinks that like all engagement is good engagement when mm-hmm. literally most of the it was, it was like seventy two percent of the engagement. My hot link in the bio, all right. <laughs> With those little circles, like mm-hmm. <sighs> mm-hmm. it's like no, I would no. If it's a fucking person, okay. First of all, if somebody follows me, right? Yeah. I don't even see my followers. Like I don't even see who. Who follows? Yeah. But like, if I notice that the number goes up for whatever reason, I look at it and I'm like, who's this person? Okay. What's her name? Oh, your name is Claire seven six nine eight seven six nine eight five five sixty nine sixty nine. It's always like first name, last name, seven hundred numbers. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you're not real. You don't care what I have to say. Why are you liking this thing that I posted about this thing that you don't know about? Mm-hmm. I guarantee it. Anyways, you want to see Tori's uh, socials? You can go to um. YouTube.com slash Azarath's Flame, A Z A R A T H S F L A M E E. Oh, I didn't miss a beat there. Nice. Thanks. Uh, or uh, Twitter.com slash Trippy Desk, T R I P P Y D E S U. Damn. Nice. Great. So smooth. I'll try to be. Thanks. Yeah, please follow me if you're human because I I want to be popular by earning real people, not uh, these 60 something bots I have. I'm so well, annoying and sad. You, uh, you know, people just want to hear what you have to say. And they just want to see if you spell things correctly. That's what. That's why they follow you. And you really let them down the other day. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't gonna say anything, but you really let them down. <laughs> All right, that uh, about do it. Uh, Thank you for this. Uh, watch, bye. listening to this short recap episode of our lives, and uh, we'll be back with more. Maybe for as Who long knows? as the baby will allow me. Mm. It's not the last episode. It is. I'm no, it's you not. It is right now. No, it's not. It is. You're wrong. Wrong. You're wrong. Okay. Anyways, bye. Bye. Bye, one ho.